Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to the Edmonton Oilers After Dark AHL Rundown. Sorry, so it's a 20 prospect farm AHL depth chart rundown. So everything you need to know about the AHL, who could play for the Oilers, and their depth in the AHL as far as prospects who are playing in Europe, CHL, ECHL, it's all over. We'll get you started right quick here. First up, we've got the prospects on the rise. So as you can see here, BW has his top prospects that he feels are on the rise. He's got 10 of them here. Obviously starting out with Raphael Lavoie, second round pick. He feels he could meet the NHL this year. The next one he has is Robert Olivier Rodrigue, goalie. He's a few years away, obviously. The goaltending at Edmonton is fine. The third one is Jaden Gerby, just acquired in a trade. I don't know much about him. BW would be the guy that knows. Obviously, he's the Red Deer kid. Um, hey. If he pans out, he pans out. Then we got a few, we got a European here with Petrov, six rounder, a few years away still. Now this one here, Beauregard, this one to me, he's a tricky one. He much like Holloway and Benson before him, if he makes the NHL, he needs to play top six minutes. That's why I think he'll be in the NHL for a few more years. Obviously, BW feels the same. Uh, he's just not third, fourth line ready, and the orders are stacked in the top six right now. Tyler Tulio, same thing. Orders are stacked in the top six. You bring him up, he's going to be no good to you up in the NHL. Keep him in the AHL. Maximus Wang... Wang Warner, oh boys, it's late tonight. AHL seventh rounder defenseman. Again, he's a few years away. Now another one that's interesting to me is Philip Kempf. Um, defense. I think he's a few years away if he even makes the NHL. Again, we're not really good at D, but what we have are sufficient, a little better than he is. Noel Haffenmeyer, again, he's going to be an AHL regular. I, I think he's going to make an impact in the AHL, which is good to see. And last but not least for his prospects on the rise, he has Jake Chase on, who's a few years away. Can't disagree, can't disagree with any of that. Like It's logic, right? That's what we're using here. Sound logic. Now, on for the CHL in Europe, Oilers After Dark prospects on the rise for the Europe and the CHL.
His call-ups are obviously he wants Lavoie coming up, Pedersen. I already have Pedersen in the Oilers lineup. Bogart, I don't see it unless there's injuries. Nimalainen, Lisa, Drake Kajula, and Rod Reed. Obviously, if Rod Reed comes up, we've got problems in goaltending, and I suggest the Oilers make a trade for one right liquidity split if you get my drift. If we have Rod Reed play significant time in the NHL, we're hurting. We need to make trades. He sees Lori Lavoie playing 20 games, Pedersen playing 15, Nemo Linen 7, Gleason 5, Kajula 3, Bogart 1, and Rodrigue 1. I have Kajula starting in the NHL, actually. This is where him and I are very different. He goes for the bigger players. I go for players that are trying to prove something. And that's why this Lane Pedersen and Kajula to me, I think that if they have good training camps. Now, of course, anything can happen at a training camp. These two players that I've mentioned, Kajula and Pedersen, could just be woofs, whiffs, smells as laters, have fun in the AHL for a year. Or they could do some damage in training camp and be staples on that third, fourth line and pushing roster guys off. Hey, if Kajula and Pedersen and either Gagne or uh, Suter make this team, hey, competition, there's, it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like, there's no such thing as bad competition. And his uh, top 25, under 25, I'll just leave this list here because there's a lot of them to name. Obviously, you've got Lavoie, Aki, Petrov, Brogert, Tulio, Rodrigue, Lachance. And on the other side, the mediocre, you got Savoy. I don't, think, I don't know what to think of Savoy, honestly. Nathan Day, the goalie. Um... Honestly, I think this is Hamlin's last kick at the can, Kemp's last kick at the can, Savoy's last kick at the can. Like, if you guys can't crack any thing or produce in the AHL and even get a sniff in the NHL next year, I, I don't know. I think it's time to move on from these prospects and just trade for better. I don't know. So anyway, here, moving on still... Here is BW's AHL roster. He's got Drake Kajula on the top line with Lane Pedersen and Raphael Lavoie. Brugo, Malone, Seth Griffin, Tulio, McCraig, Hamlin, Petrov and Savoy are switching on the fourth line with Grabby in center and Jake Klassen, Chasen. Nemo Leinen is a stale, for, is a stalwart first line defenseman with Kemp. Deneen, Gleason, Hoffenmeyer, and Peters. Again, I've said it and I'll say it again. The right side, both forward and defensively for this team, not good. The right wingers and the right D, uh, lacking. Um, could be stronger, but you have what you have. That's what drafting was for, and we haven't drafted very well on the right side. Our centers are stalked. Our left D, stacked. Left wings, plethora of good ones. But that right side scares me. In goalie, we got Calvin Picard over Rod Reed. Picard's another interesting one. He's an NHL, AHL vet. He could get wins and help the Condors as the season goes. His potential call-ups on the side there, as was mentioned earlier. His extra forwards are Berglund, Dijon, uh, and, uh, yeah, again, not too shabby on that end of things. Now, before I get any further, I'd like, what you say? I'll do this right quick here. Before I get any further, I'd like to pause this video for a sponsor. That's right, folks. A sponsor announcement. Are you into the holidays like Halloween which is coming up if you're looking for something a little more uncommon for holiday and inspirational wear please check out G7A Gravity 7 apparel 
They make everything from school friendly to a little more spicy, but still safe to wear. It's a small family run company that gives back to the community. Gravity7apparel.com for all your apparel needs. Now I see good things happening from them. Thank you. And for my roster, I have Drake Kajula, James Hamlin, Bogart, Savoy, Lavoye, Tulio, Petrov, Chason, Malone, McCray, Griffin, Gribby. Fourth line, like I'm, we, like I said, we have so much center depth. In the AHL, like any center can play up and down this lost lineup. I have Marcus Nimalainen as well, Philip Kemp as well, Deneen as well. So we, we've got each other pretty much the same. I have Rodrigue over Picard starting just because I want this kid, much like Skinner, to get the confidence to be able to play a lot of minutes, a lot of games, and just see what he's got. Throw the kid in. See what he's got. What's the worst that can happen? He has a bad start. Okay, Picard, tag, you're in, you're in net. It's yours, your net to lose. All right. Or the kid shines. And next year, we have the tandem of Skinner and Rod Reed starting and backup for the Edmonton Oilers. No, that's looking forward. I know that's looking way too far ahead of the road of what ifs and ifs and buts. But let's just imagine for a couple seconds here that Olivier Rodrigue shines down in the AHL, puts up some fantastic numbers, gets a few gets a few bundles of wins, a couple handfuls, a little sprinkle there, a little sprinkle there, and just like that, he is a proven starting goalie in the AHL. Much like Skinner, proven starter. All right, proven starter, NHL backup. Play backup for a few years, see what it's like. Now you're kind of the NHL starter, by necessity, maybe, by force, possibly, but hey, that's where we're at. My potential call-ups, as you see there, Lavoie, Nimalainen, Gleason, Kajula, Bogart, Rodrigue, and my extras are the same as his because the AHL is fluctuating all the time. Anyways, guys, what are your thoughts? What do you guys think of it? Do you guys think that we could benefit more? From this, like, I think the BW and I are out to lunch with the way we have the AHL roster. Is the AHL roster just the AHL roster? A lot of question marks, a lot of maybes, a lot of this, ands, or buts. Also, on that NHL roster, you could see a Sam Gagne. If he, si if he signs a AHL contract with the Oilers instead of an NHL one, you could see a Sam Gagne down there. You could also see, for shits and giggles, a Sutter down there as a first line center. You never know. Anyways, training camp is just a few quick sleeps away. By that I mean like two weeks. But if you haven't paid attention, the Oilers are already holding their main camp started early. Thank you, Connor McDavid. Told the guys to show up. He showed up in numbers. They all showed up. Not one waited. Which is good to see. So, again, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys think the AHL is going to be good this year? Do you guys think the Bakersfield Condors have a chance at maybe winning another Calder Trophy? And, yes, I say they have won the Calder Trophy just because the AHL didn't have a full playoffs. The Condors won that trophy, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, they won that trophy. Then Skinner gets called up to the NHL. I like it. So, folks, the Condors have a good team this year. Are they in the weeds? Are they going to be a mid-team? Where do you see them? As always, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're notified every time we make a video. And as always, 
have yourselves a fantastic evening, day, or night, wherever you may be watching from. And we'll see you in the next one.